Hello everybody, it is time for a special 4th of July Let's Play. And guess what game I'm playing. No, you're wrong. It's Minecraft. God damn it! Ah, Minecraft. It's a game that you could buy for like $20. I don't remember if it's 20 or 10 but it's a game that's still a work in progress, and a lot of you probably have already heard of this. I'm just doing myself a favor in recording a game that I enjoy. We're going to call this one Leroy Land. No seed. Although I, you can put something in the seed and make it generate something weird. Uh, I'm scared to do that. I'm going to put weird in there. and Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's, no, no, let's not put weird. Let's put jur. Don't ask. You won't know. Alright, it's building the terrain. Now, in this game, everything, it's almost infinite everything. It, the terrain builds as you go. It's actually quite ingenious. And you start out with nothing, and your objective is to survive. I like to imagine that I was lost and I washed up on an island or something and I have to survive just by my bare hands and will. Alright, here we go. Oh, also I have my skin so I'm an alien. Uh, let's see, where's the F5? I'm an alien! <laughs> okay, enough of that. Alright, the first thing you need is wood. So let's punch a tree down. Oh my god, this tree is floating! One of the many strange quirks of the world of Minecraft. Now we get to punch the rest of the tree. Once you punch the whole tree, it starts to decay, and the leaves disappear, and they drop those things, saplings. And you can pick them up and plant more trees, but I'm not that nice. I'm going to completely deforest this entire area. Kill everything. Oh, I messed up. When you when you mess up, you have to start from scratch. See? The cracks, they disappear and you have to start over. These trees are really resilient. I mean, my punches usually can go through trees within, like, seconds. Whoops. I can usually punch through trees, no problem, but these trees are really hardy. Alright, my mission is to collect enough wood before daytime that I can make tools... And I can dig myself a rudimentary home in the cave. I like making a cave. Some people go for the whole house thing. Eh, it's not as defensible. It's it's nice to have a house eventually, but I think for your first night, definitely go the cave route. Unless you're hardcore. <clears throat> Alright, it looks like I found a nice little place for my cave home. Let's go to our inventory. And this little crafting window with the four blocks. You right click to drop a single item. And it should make you... Oh, wait, uh, that's right. Ha! I forgot the recipe. You have to make wooden planks from just dropping a single block of wood first. Wooden planks. Now, we drop down and make a crafting table. And now we can craft tools. Let's put it right here. Boop. Alright, let's make some tools, man. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's wood plank... No, it's wood planks to make sticks. Two wood planks on top of each other make sticks. Sticks are very important because you use them to make tools. And let's see, I think I need wood planks to make the wood part of this. Of the, so I need to make more planks. Just keep clicking. Makes four per. All right. Uh, that's a shovel. Uh, we want the first thing we want is a pickaxe. Bonk. Uh, let's see. Next thing we want is a sword. Bonk. Alright, let's see. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, oh, I know. Damn it. A shovel. A couple shovels. A few shovels. A uh, couple more... Pickaxes. And, okay, we need to find... They just updated the game, so now you have to shear sheep or hit them with, or kill them to get wool from them. I'd like to make a bed so I can survive the first night. It's kind of hard to survive the first night without sleep. You just kind of have to wait. 
da 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 da. We like to dig. Oh, you know what else we need? Oh shit, we need that like no one's business. We need to make some torches. And the best way to do that is to make a furnace. We use these nice little cobblestones we got. Make a furnace. Let's put the furnace right here for now. This is my rudimentary home. Uh, let's see. We can use. We can actually use saplings as fuel, but I prefer using wooden planks because they go a lot further. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we need wood. Wooden planks and wood. So we're gonna punch some more trees down. I'm coming for you, tree! My mic is very, very good. It records everything. Even my thoughts. God, I hope no one thinks I'm gay. Alright, that's all the wood I can get from that tree. One more tree and we should be good. I haven't seen any animals yet, though. I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of afraid. There are no animals. I got some mushrooms, too, from killing these trees, apparently. Apparently, I punched some mushrooms. I didn't notice that. Alright, if I had a comp or a clock, I would be able to tell what time it is, but I can't get a clock for a while now. That takes a lot of work. Alright. Wood. Wood. Yes. Alright, you can see the fire there. It's starting to smelt or burn my charcoal. We're going to burn this wood. Don't ask me how I started the fire. I, I really honestly don't know. But we need to make torches ASAP. One more piece of charcoal and I'll start making torches. That should give me enough torches to last. Okay. Torches we can make in our own little crafting table. In our pocket or whatever. There we go. Awesome. And we can put some torches. Let's put a torch on the outside so we can see. Boom. Now that we have it inside, let's destroy this crafting table. Pick it up. Pop. Got a new crafting table. Now let's dig out our home a little bit. I am a caveman. I'm a caveman. Captain Caveman. Alright, enough being stupid. Alright, let's put um our little crafting table. Let's put it right here. Now let's dig out a bedroom. And then we need to find a sheep before daytime goes away. Actually, let's do that now, because we can dig out a bedroom in, at night. Let's look for sheep. Here, sheepy, sheepy. Oh, look at that. Little tiny weeds. That? Oh, there's squid. There's squid inside this pond. I'm not sure how they got there. Alright, so far no sheep, and then there's another squid. Oh my god, the squid! Okay, there's a chicken. That's not going to help me right now. Where the hell? Yes, uh, for those of you who are wondering, yes, this game is very blocky, and it is intentionally blocky. If I can just find a freaking sheep. Sheepy, 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 sheepy. There's another chicken. God, do they make sheep more p impossible to find or something? I hope I don't get lost. Jesus Christ, I might get lost. No, my house is this big mountain here. I can't lose it. Oh God, I can sense the night time is coming. I can just feel it, man. I can feel it in my ass. Don't ask. Oh my God. Scared me for a second there. Where are my sheep? Sheep! Sheep, 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 sheep. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Here, my sheep shifting friends. They're sheep shifters. They shift from sheep into other things and then back into sheep. Apparently. I can't find any sheep, which is really dumb. But that's okay. We'll just dig our way through the night. We're not, we're not gonna sleep sleep through the night, we're gonna dig through the night. That's fine. So there's no sheep right now. There might be some tomorrow. Ooh, that's not a good sound. That is a very, very bad... That's an even worse sound. Let's go. 
You know what I forgot to make? I forgot to make a door. Oh, I need wood. I need wood. Also, I hear zombies. Not because of, there's zombies above ground, but there's zombies below ground. I kind of hate that, how you can hear the monsters in the caves that are underneath you. It makes you, like, paranoid, because you hear these monsters and they're not there. God, there's a lot of mushrooms. Red mushrooms. I need, I need, uh, brown mushrooms. So I can make mushroom stew, man. If you haven't noticed, this game has an interesting and unique crafting system. Which I like. I will terraform this land into Sean World. Oh, look. <gasps> a pig. Signs of life that aren't... That may be sheep. Who knows? There may be sheep over here. There's a lot of squid, though. I'm not quite sure how there are squid inside the ponds. That's probably a bug. Squids should spawn in larger open areas of water. Ah, screw my hunt for sheep. Screw the sheep. Actually, that was kind of what we were planning on doing. Shut up. Let's go. Let's make a door. Shall we? Shall we make a door? Look at how the leaves are disappearing slowly but surely. Pop, pop. Oh, and it's coming nightfall now. Woo, nightfall. Put another torch on the outside just for good measure. Let's make... Wood. The door is made by combining six... Oh, look, fireworks right outside my window. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. Combine six pieces of wood and always place a door on the outside because that will minimize monster threat. Don't ask. It just does, okay? It just freaking does. Alright, we're going to dig out a bedroom for ourselves. Or a hallway, actually. We'll make a bedroom from the hallway. Okay. We're almost to the first night. And that is where this recording will end. And then we will do second night, etc., etc. But this is our 4th of July gift to all of you. I don't want it. I don't like this gift. Well, tough tooties. Okay. The rest is pretty much history. Let's put some uh, torches out here. Alright. This is my home so far. Let's see. Oh. Got some more charcoal. Uh, we're out of wood, unfortunately. Let's keep some wooden planks in here for burning. We can also burn the saplings, but let's not burn the saplings just yet. We are going to make a few more torches and call it a recording. This game is very addictive. Boom. We need more sticks. Two pieces of wood. We can make a whole bunch of sticks. It makes four sticks per, I believe. Yep, four sticks per. There we go. Ah, we turned all our planks into sticks. In the morning, we're going to need to harvest some more trees. There's no way of telling what morning is because I don't have any windows. I'll have to look out the window and the door to tell if it's morning. But that's the recording. Hope everyone has enjoyed. We'll be back.